I recently decided to try a brand new brand for me at least uh, in terms of looking for an entry level budget headset to travel with. So I went and picked up a headset I've never heard about before from a brand no one seems to talk about but I do seem to see quite often. Mission. So I went and picked up what I'm calling their their hippo headset. Um, it's it's the MTHP020. I'm calling them hippos. But anyway, I picked these guys up for 300 rand. Um, US pricing will also be on the screen somewhere. And I, 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 I gotta be honest, I didn't have very high standard for these things. But when I opened the box, I found uh, the headset, obviously, a little adapter to take it from two 3.5 millimeter jacks, one for sound, one for mic, down to one in case you want to use it with your smartphone or a uh, laptop that only has one hole. I found a manual which actually was surprisingly thin. Normally these products come with really thick manuals that are just overkill. This one was nice and thin, which I appreciate. You kill less trees, use less paper. And then it came with a sticker, which was the most exciting thing in the box. I like the sticker. As for build quality, these guys are actually pretty good. It is surprisingly good for build quality. Now, the copies over here are... Um, they're a cheap plastic, but they still feel solid. There is no creaking in this. The, the top bands here, they're steel. And you know what? They've got a lot of flex. They go back to normal. And it's got one of these funny elasto bands where it sits on your head which is a lot more padded than i thought it would be because normally these things are not very padded and that not too uncomfortable but i do appreciate the little extra padding and by the way when i say normally i mean on the budget headsets your more expensive headsets that use this have more padding than this the ear cups themselves are actually a, a nice cushy foam under these fake leather covers but you know what they feel firm enough if maybe not a little too shallow uh, I, I was a bit worried that when i put these on my ears were going to scratch the the drivers in here but the mesh they put over the drivers is actually a bit more spongy has bigger holes than what you'd normally get on a budget headset and it actually felt quite nice on my ears i am not gonna lie that, that was one thing i was worried about that i didn't have to worry about then we, we get the actual aesthetics of the headset and um, initially I thought the orange and black would look nice but when I put it on I, I look like um, I, I look like I bought this from Toys R Us <laughs> it, it's not that nice of a headset the, the, the backlit lights that change color by themselves are not too bad I mean I'm not too fond of lights on my headset because I don't look at the lights on my headset but I, I have to say it, it's not too bad as far as lights on a headset go. The cable is braided. It's nice and thick. I don't think that this cable is going to give you any trouble anytime soon. It is a, a nice braided cable. You do need a, a, a USB to plug it into if you want the lights though. So just keep that in mind. I'm probably going to unplug the USB whenever I use these if I ever use them. But that's because I don't care about the lights. Now let's talk about... Um, um, comfort uh, not very comfortable now I said that this was padded and it actually is one of the more comfortable areas as well as I was worried about my ears scratching the driver and it did but again this mesh here sorted that out no problem this thing's big big issue when it comes to comfort is the clamping force and not just the actual force it exerts on your head when you clamp when it clamps but rather where it exerts so if I put it on, don't hit your mic, Luke. If I put it on, um, the big issue I have is it clamps really, really tight down here and incredibly loose here. And like, I don't have to push the headset at all to stick my fingers in. But here it clamps so tight that after 20, 30 minutes, it, it really starts to hurt. And that is not a good thing. You cannot use these for an extended period of gaming. I never got the chance to do it because even now, after this little bit of wearing it and I'm talking, it is starting to hurt over here. It pushes way too hard. So I never got to wear these for extended periods of time, but I was able to watch a couple YouTube videos, play a single game of Dead by Daylight, 
and uh, listen to a bit of music with them on to get a good idea of the sound quality. Not a great place. I know these are a budget entry level gaming headset and my standards or expectations weren't that high for it. However, it is meh. Meh at best. Um, the, the big issue with the sound is your high, high end is barely there, your mid range sounds are like drowned out and your bass feels flat, but your bass is still louder than everything else. You're not going to have an issue listening to anything on these, you'll still hear everything pretty clearly and honestly if it weren't for how uncomfortable these things were, I would probably let it slide because the build quality is pretty good. But then we get onto the mic. It is terrible. I'll play a quick audio test on the mic for you now. This is the mic test for those Mission hippos. Uh, the microphone on this headphone uh, sounds like this, with my voice at least. And Yeah, no, I really don't like this mic. Um, but the biggest issue with this mic, apart from it not sounding great, which is not the end of the world if all you're doing is having a short chat in game with someone, um, is everyone can hear everything that's going on in your headset. My friends knew I was playing Netflix in the background while I was sitting in Discord with them to test these um, because you could just hear everything in this ear cup coming through that mic and the volume was set pretty low. That is incredibly irritating and that is, that is a big strike, a big no-no that will just stop me from ever using this mic. It is adjustable though, so you can move it out the way However, uh, it doesn't stay out the way enough for my liking. But there are some much better options that are actually pretty good from companies like Red Dragon or Marvo. Their entry level gaming headsets are fine. Don't expect anything amazing. It is a very budget entry level headset, but they're fine. I do not at any point recommend these. The build quality is great. And then it goes downhill from there. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, uh, my review of the Mission MT-HP020, or the Mission Hippos as I call them. If you have any experience with this brand, or you think they had any products that are worth a recommend, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always looking at different brands and different budget gear that is worth playing around with and telling you guys about. However, I am not going to be spending any money on a budget Mission headset again for at least a while um i was not impressed with these at all anyway thanks for watching if you have any thoughts about my content or want to give me your thoughts leave a comment down below i do read all of them also uh check out the description for links to my other social medias you can check me out on twitter instagram or uh even my discord server anyway thanks for watching uh, i love your support and uh bye